This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. AutoCAD 2012 includes many new enhancements to the way we edit our 3D objects. One of them is to include a new chain or loop option to simplify the process of selecting a set of contiguous edges or curves. The new chain selection option detects if there is a set of contiguous edges within a solid or mesh object or within or between surfaces. The chain may either be open or closed and is available in the surface patch, surface blend, mesh cap, and fillet edge commands. For example, I have this lofted circular area for a possible seating plan for a small arena or stage. It has an open area right here and I need to close it off. If I go to the surface tab on the ribbon, to the create panel, I can make a surface patch. It will close up a gap in between lines. I pick it and I can just select my objects one at a time, each of these steps, or I can type in CH for the chain option. And AutoCAD will then automatically look and detect and say, hey, here's a closed object. Why don't we pick that in one click instead of having to select all of these objects? I can select it, press Enter, and I have my new surface closing in my stairs. You can see this side is still empty. And I can do the same over there as well. Again, it's a very small enhancement, but that saved me from having to click each one of these lines as we go down the steps, even though it is a closed object all on its own. And that's the way AutoCAD processes a lot of surfaces and areas. So this is a time saver. Now the loop selection is very similar, but is used during the fillet edge command when you want to fillet edges. I can select it, put in a radius, and I can start picking my objects. And I can use my loop option to help create the radius around different closed objects. It works very similarly to the chain option. We have an offset edge command. The offset edge command or tool is new in AutoCAD 2012. It's available on the solid tab in your ribbon in the solid editing panel. And it is found right here, the offset edge. This new tool enables you to create an offset curve from a planar face or from a surface where all of the edges lie on the same plane. So after you've selected a face, the edge of the face is dynamically offset to the inside or outside, just like the regular 2D offset command. I can select my offset edge command, find a planar face, select it, type in the distance and direction, or just pick where I want it to go. And I can continue on in my command. So now I've offset this and I have an object here that I can use and work with. Some press pull functionality has been enhanced as well. It makes it an easy way to create and edit solids. You can simply click in a bounded area of a solid and an AutoCAD will dynamically create an extruded solid. If the bounded area is a face of a solid, the extrusion is added or removed depending on your direction of movement to or from the solid. So this helps tremendously. Another item that's been added is in trimmed surface properties. When you open the property manager and you select a surface that has been trimmed, you can get some of the edge property in the properties manager. And it cycles through the different edges and highlights them in the drawing. This new associative trim property indicates if the current edge is associative or not. So you can remove the associativity from any of the given edges, or you can make some changes to it as well. Those are some of the new 3D editing enhancements that have been added to AutoCAD 2012 to help you speed up your process.